So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Royal London Theatre here in London, England, for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights, and the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Here we go. All the talk, all the hype, now the fight. Round one, scheduled for 10. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. That's a good left hand by Fast. Showing you some defense there with the block. Solid hook. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Reaching the halfway mark. Big shot. The right came clean. Tucks those. What a big shot. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. There's that right hand he scores with. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times it's, hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body, and he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have a guy in front of him. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Last 10 seconds of this first round. Quick snapping hook, and it does damage. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down, I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense, I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. You're going to catch him. You're going to catch him. He's trying to get momentum back. He gave it away in that last round when he was knocked down. Well, he got a little pit stop in the corner, so now he's got to be like that race car driver coming out of the pits. You know, you come out of there cautiously. Don't get hit with anything as you're coming out. You know, don't cross those lanes too quick. And then get back into the flow. Keep working the body. <laughs> Wow, what a right.
right hand he just got caught by, and he's looking to tie up. Oh. And he's holding. <laughs> Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to, because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. That is defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Watch that! Keep pushing! Halfway through round number two. Wide shots that aren't sharp or targeted. That has been his problem tonight. Left hand by Fast. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. He's still not moving enough. Head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Not able to land the headshot. So as that round ends, it gives us pause to realize what has just taken place, and that is we have one man who just separated himself from the other, who's able to stun his opponent, and you got to think good things are coming. Well, they've been coming for a while because I really think that those punches are a benefit from a couple rounds ago. He's been hitting with a lot of punches, and I think it's starting to take its toll, and you saw it there. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. You're winning this fight. Okay, okay. Nice work. You can't handle your speed. It's too much. You keep it up. Well, he got caught by a lucky punch in that last one. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. <gasps> Good way to protect the midsection. Downstairs with a right hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Now he ties up there. Scores up top with a left. Good block there by Fast. Fast is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Wow, is he defensively sound? One, two. One, two. Halfway through this round. Uppercut. Carries that punch intended for the head. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. There you go. Bass is left working well that time. He returns.
return fire right there, and it worked. After being rocked, now he gets his man. At this point, it's not a... There it is! Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? Somehow, some way, he's going to continue on here. And if he's going to stay in this fight, now he's got to avoid his opponent like the Black Plague. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Solid left hand to the head. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in this third round. Don't worry now, right? I just I need you to focus and keep your it. hands up, keep working the jab, okay? Double up the all jab right. and just oh, keep yeah, moving. Yeah, you okay? Good, I need you to use your feet, yeah, all right? Move around. Right. Don't worry about it. Get in your rhythm, okay? I want to see more jabs. Here you go. Well, it's early on, but already a commanding lead. Banking rounds away on Teddy's scorecard, up three rounds to zip. Well, Teddy, you get in a spot like this, and everybody has their eyes on the fighter who was just knocked down in the Come last on, round. Focus. What do you look for? What tells you right away that you know what his status is? Well, it's two things. The easiest one is the legs, so I want to see if they're steady, if they're firm, if he's okay. But the next thing is his personality, believe it or not. It's kind of like when you go out to a bar with someone, they have a few drinks, and all of a sudden they're a different person. You know they're drunk. Well, I want to see whether or not my fight is drunk. If he starts rushing at the guy, starts acting in a way that he's never acted before, I know it's time to pull the plug. Nice work with the overhand right. Ninety seconds to go in round number four. Work the body. He has his target. He lands a straight right. You got this. You got this. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? The yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counter punching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Perfect. Relax. That is defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Now hugging on the inside. Up top with the quick hook.
this has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the That's end. It. Somebody it. is going to wind up not standing at the just end. Like that, all right? Another round, just like that. Back to action now. We're underway in what has been a completely one-sided fight. You get the sense this one may not go the distance. Looking good. Well off the mark by Fast. He got hit. Oh, now the uppercut. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Good defense, just covering up down low. Fast is doing something that not everybody. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Boy, I don't like the way his legs look at all right now. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Oh, things opened up, and he was able to place the right hand well. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He missed with that headshot. You're not focusing. Fast is having a masterful round defensively. I love what we're seeing from the footwork with him. Very good movement, sound defensively. Is there anything he should be considering adding to that arsenal, though, right now? Well, he's got to find spots for offense. You know, he's making his opponent miss. He's getting them off bounds. He's frustrating them a little bit. You know, pop at the right time. You know, let it fly a little bit in the right spots. You keep your guy off balance. When you got him off balance, you make him miss, make him pay. This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much to him, not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Take those shots, you understand me? Let's see some defense and more punches. Okay. Halfway through the scheduled rounds here, Fass is able to avoid that punch. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Nice block by Fast. Fast is keeping his guard up very, very well. Teddy.
does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Halfway through round six. Fast, his movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Nice work, nice work. Pace yourself. Wasn't able to land. So here he is again, missing more punches. Now, I like a guy that throws punches, Teddy, but at some point, you got to do more than that. Yeah, I tell you right now, if he was a carpenter, I would not have him coming in doing my kitchen cabinets because he'd be just cutting up a lot of wood, you know, and it'd be all over the place. But I wouldn't have the bookshelves, I wouldn't have the cabinets that I want. I would, I'd have a mess. And right now, this fight's getting messy. He just missed that shot up top. Ten clicks of the talk. It's all right, just keep moving. Go, go, go. And we come to the end it's of the okay. round. Fass is in dominating side form side here tonight. He's doing everything he wanted to do. And he's ahead on our scorecards ringside. Yeah, but don't forget, he's in the other guy's hometown. So don't let up too soon. Don't start partying too soon. You know, still keep doing the things you were doing to get you to this place. I need you to sit down on your punches. Sit down on your punches, all right? When you get close, uppercut and... Oh. starts up again, but it's only favored one man. Hard to see this fight going the distance based on what we've witnessed so far. Blocks that belt line well. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Good block. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. At the halfway point of round seven. <laughs> See, that's some fine defense right there. I love that block by Fast. Relax. 
Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Didn't get it done going to the body there. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. Fass is doing a brilliant job with his head movement. He's employing top-notch defense right here, and it's frustrating his opponent. It is frustrating his opponent. His opponent needs to make an adjustment of thinking right now and understand what's there, not what's not there. We know that the head's not there, but what's there? The body. He needs to start going downstairs. That will freeze up some of that head movement. Okay. Relax. 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 You can do this. You know you got this. You gotta watch the water in the corner. Too much. Teddy's scorecard shows that this is a completely one-sided fight. I mean, he's done it all, Teddy. He has scored knockdowns. He has just utterly broken down the man opposite him. Yeah, now it's time for the other corner to say the thing that you hate to have to say as a trainer. You need a knockout to win. Seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Able to get rid of that one. Keep working the jab. Good. You can Good. see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Oh, what a whiff by Fast. It's okay, let's go. That's what I want to see. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Last 10 seconds. Good defensive skill. Yet another round you can say he easily won. He's been in complete control. You love to have these rounds as a fighter, and also you love to have these nights as a trainer, but Sometimes you like just little moments early on that keep him reminded that there's still danger. He's almost forgotten that there's danger, and that could be the only risk here for him that he gets careless. here but that action has only favored one man completely one-sided hard to see the scorecards coming into play here with how dominating he's been let's see some more head movement Okay, pay him back. 
Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. You got this one. Let's see some more head movement. Not much action as he just ties up. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Halfway through the ninth round. Able to cover up that gut. Good left hand able to land. Blocks the headshot. Ten seconds remaining in this round. I shake it off. Teddy, you've been on both sides of this before, but right now it's the side where you're looking up. You're sitting back with a fighter who's coming off of a round where you just clearly say he's losing the fight. What do you say to him to get him back in it? Well, you have to tell him the truth. You have to tell him that you need a knockout or a big, big round where you have him on the floor a couple of times. That's a good start. And the only way that's going to happen is you got to start taking risks. You got to be more aggressive. Throw punches. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than what it is. Focus. It is the final round. Here they go. See him holding on. there by fast needs to improve that accuracy miss with the headshot <laughs> halfway through this 10th and final round Defense there. That was a fine block by Fast. Final minute of this final round of this fight. Good job, buddy. 
You got this one. Fast is coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Very nice defensive guard there. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you calm in there, when you're in control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Ten seconds to go in this, the final round. A consistently strong performance tonight. You don't have to be a calculus major to score this one. Just put those ten nines together. And our ring announcer is standing by with the official decision. That's a well-earned victory by Fast. And it's nice to see when not only all three judges have it for him, but your scorecard agrees. Yeah, it is. That doesn't mean I'm going to hang out with these guys or go to dinner with them afterwards, but right now I'm going to say job well done, guys. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.